I'm going to talk about a new subject today. Uh, it hasn't been introduced here at all. It's named Open Telemetry Observability. I know it's maybe a surprise. No, I'm just kidding. So um, today we're going to actually see a working session of how to integrate Open Search using the Open Search integration in the hotel demo application. So Open Telemetry, uh, as we've seen here, is a protocol and a set of tools that helps um, everyone integrate traces, logs, and metrics into their system. And what we've just uh, introduced, bless you, and what we've just introduced recently is an integration, which is a predetermined index schema and uh, dashboards that show the actual content coming from these um, traces and logs as an integral part of the um, presentation of what we can show as part of the open telemetry capabilities. So first of all, this is the standard open search dashboard that we are familiar with. Now we're going to the integration session. Um, just a question, is anyone familiar with the integrations project here? Okay, so that's a great introduction. And I think this is very important. This is something that really helps developers and users and community to just have a very direct approach on loading predetermined components. So for example, the default uh, catalog that comes out of the box has a list of tools. These tools are integrated seamlessly, meaning having their schema introduced, having the dashboard that reflect them, and in the, in the future we'll have alerts dedicated to these services. But here we're going to see the open, uh, open telemetry demo. So you can see all the list of components and assets it comes with. There's uh, screenshots of everything. And we just will set it up. There's an option to set up, currently uh, not enabled, but there is an option to read the data directly from Open Search. In the future, we'll integrate that with different data sources, such as uh, S3, as a potential um, storage for these uh, signals. And we select an index pattern. And we just add the integration. What happens is that all the templates are being generated, and we have the um, auto service integration ready. We will see the dashboard, and we'll go directly in a specific dashboard. So currently, I'm not ingesting data, but I can go just a bit, let's say 15 days ago and I'm directly seeing content. So this content actually reflects open uh, data prepare setup pipelines that ingest metrics, logs, and traces into open search. So we can see what's going on here. We can just go. And if you see some very cool features that are not familiar from the standard visualization, this is because it's using Vega. So if you have questions about Vega, please contact me later. Um, OK, let's see what we have here. So let's go to the dashboards and see what other dashboards we have. So we have the services. So this is a list of all the services that are ingested as part of the open telemetry demo. And we also have duration and count of the requests. And we have a Gantt chart that shows the trace breakdown. So if we, for example, select trace, it will be reflected here. You can see the trace, all the parts of the trace. So basically, 
we have a sort of well-defined pipeline or well-defined use case of introduction of how to actually explore the services within the open telemetry and how to drill down into a specific trace, whether these traces reflect some problem or even go into metrics and review the metrics as a, a host component. For example, if the metrics are stored within Prometheus, we can actually select Prometheus, see all the list of open telemetry metrics and just select them and start seeing them. Let's say instead of one hour, 15 minutes. So all the information is federated into open search, whether it resides directly in open search from data prepare or if it resides in Prometheus and being grabbed from uh, Prometheus using uh, open search data connector. So basically this is part of the open telemetry demo. And there is a getting started. We discussed about um, writing tutorials. So I, I, it took a bit time, but I managed to do that. And it's, I hope that is quite, uh, at least gives a good uh, explanation on how to do that. So this is the open telemetry demo. It was forked from the Otel uh, repository and we're using all the open search components as part of this um, repository. And in addition, we have the open search catalog, which is the location of the integration and it gives the catalog of all the uh, integrations, including their dashboards and their schema. And Obviously, we can review them as part of the documents and we can go in and see the integration, which type of components they're using, which type of schema they're using. So this is mostly a um, catalog for uh, introducing either components which are well-structured or even introducing components which just reflect data snippets such as uh, SLO service duration map. So the, the takeaways are if someone needs to use components which are well structured, please go to Open Search Catalog. And if you want to just review what Open Search offers in terms of open telemetry, please go to the Open Telemetry demo. That's it. Thank you. Applause, yeah. <laughs> Time for questions. Do we have some questions about open telemetry and the use of open search? Uh, thank you, Lior. Uh, I, here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but are you also planning to talk about, uh, obviously not, but the other integrations that you saw on the screen, uh, or you showed on the screen? The other, the VPC flow logs, the Nginx logs, and things so like that. Basically, yeah, we're, the team is working on the uh, introduction of new components, which are integration, and all of them are both uh, presented in the catalog, and also we're trying to introduce as much as more content relevant to, to the observability use case as part of them. So everything that is relevant can find, be found there under the catalog integration, including the queries that are used to, to formulate the... Okay, I, I, I have a question now. Um... I wanted to ask you in private, but I think this is a better platform to ask this. Um, the, in the catalog that you showed, right, are you also down the line planning to have the actual transformation <laughs> logics for the, so, so the, the, the asset or the, the catalog is going to have the visualization, it's going to have the, the mapping or the schema, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, Alerts, so what else is, going to have, what is it going to have the transformations also is, is the question that I have. So we're, is the transformation today are being mostly done in the data prepare. And data prepare does offer API to configure these pipelines. So in the future, we are planning to embed everything, including the creation of the schema, creation of, creation of the template, uh, installing of the data prepare, including the transformation processor and the dashboard related. So that the question, the answer is yes. Yeah. Um, so the one thing that I was thinking about 
uh, is that, uh, I mean, the transformations that we have, right, for Nginx or VPC yeah. flow logs or whatever logs it is, right, the transformations are not going to be super different between what I'm going to create and what another person is going to create because the logs are going to be probably more or less the same, right? So if we have the community, I mean, if there is some encouragement to the community that we, you know, so that others don't have to reinvent the wheel. So yeah. I work on Nginx, I create the transformation, I just put it out there so anyone else can just like consume it, right? Yeah. So they, they don't have to redo the transformation. So yeah, the goal is to create something which is simple, easy, and hopefully that will be shared by others. We currently, we don't have the platform so to share across uh, multiple, like voting and, and you know, getting thumbs up for integration that are more popular. But I, my belief is that once we get more engagement from the community, we'll try to go in that direction.